just speaking on my experience with my twin. I knew my twin ever since we were kids. We played together. I played with him and his sister. And all I know, I moved to Mississippi when I was a kid. All I know, I seen this nigga again. He was hanging out with his cousin. The cousin that don't like me, y'all. That's yeah. The one that wanted to fight. But found out she can't fight. I'm talking about as an adult. But I'm just going to say this. Calvin Houston, I was always in and out of Joliet. If your cousin really wanted to fight me, she could have fought me. But that's when my cousin then told me, Mississippi, the girl can't fight. And then they found out you was an ass kisser just like I was. But I'm just saying, when I came back at the age of 21 to Joliet, right, y'all, this man didn't even know who I was. I, uh, you know, my mom gave me, uh, the number to call was like, hey, why don't you talk to, you know, your old friend? My mama did this now, y'all. So I called. His sister didn't know who the fuck I was, y'all. I'm going to keep it real. She didn't know who the fuck I was. Yeah, I'm going back down in the line. And all I know, as soon as they found out who I was, y'all, Kevin Houston was riding his bike around my granddaddy's house. Now, I live with my granddaddy just like he live with his, just like he live with his mama. So, at that time, I didn't never brag. I had money. No disrespect. I don't know what he had over there with his mom. But I already know his mama had a job. Just like my mama had a job. You feel me? So, but uh, with me, people used to tell me how they used to say him and his sister never bathed. Their house was dirty. This is what people told me. When Kevin and Charlie think everybody they friends. They talk down about y'all ass. But uh, when he got to know who I was, because I was minding my business, I had my little pink stripy shirt on with my pink shorts, my hair was in a wrap. I was minding my business, he came over here and he asked me, would you be my girlfriend? I think I said yes or okay. I think that's what I said, okay. And you know, ever since then we were, you know, rocking. But I never disrespected this man or his family, y'all. But this nigga had the nerve to disrespect me. He disrespected my name bad, man. He threw me under the bus. And like I said, I forgave him. But people be wanting to know what happened between me and my twin. I'm letting you know. So for these baby mamas that be watching, I had money. My twin didn't have any money, okay? My twin was still in school. So people want to know, I graduated just like he did. I had good-ass jobs just like my twin did. I had like three or four jobs, though. I found out my twin had a job, but I had three or four jobs. And I was an independent woman. And I like to do things on my own. And... I'm not going to ask no nigga for no money. And another thing, I'm not going to chase no nigga down. This is why a lot of men really didn't like that about me because I kept it 100 with me. Oh, yeah, and another thing, when me and my twin was friends, while he was trying to talk down about me, do y'all know kings and queens? I was in the bed with a whole nother nigga texting him. But this is what hoes do. Texting a nigga and in the bed with another nigga. But me and my twin, we wasn't together. So... I didn't have to let him know, but at least I can say it now. I ain't got nothing to hide. You disrespected my name, so I was going to show you how hoes really get down, baby. And that's the truth. But, uh, yeah, I went in the same town as you, so I couldn't really show you how hoes get down. Because hoes would be fucking another nigga, then come to your house and fuck you, too. Ooh, that's what real hoes do. I'm just keeping it 100. No sugar coating. But even if I was in the same town as my twin, he disrespected my name. I look at him funny, put my head up, and I act like I don't even know him. But I'll be in my ego. <laughs> and that's the truth. <laughs> I act like I don't even know him. They'd be like, you know him? Nope. But he said, y'all, you, he's lying. That's what I used to tell people. When this man disrespect my name, I told people I didn't even know who he was. They was like, but y'all went to school together. That's what you said. Okay, and what you telling me that for? You can go to school with a person. That don't mean that. Did we date? Nope. Even though I was lying. You made me look bad, so I made you look bad double time. Everybody was laughing at him and everything. 
he exposed you know he exposed his own self he had to tell his family I lie a lot of these DMs get mad at y'all kings and queens because y'all don't pay no damn attention you could be friends with them on Facebook you could be friends with them on IG and when they see that you ain't paying them no damn attention they're gonna lie on your name they're gonna throw you under the bus they're gonna call you all kind of names but guess what when they get by themselves kings and queens they miss the fuck out of y'all even when they're around people they miss y'all but they got their baby mamas right there with them, so why aren't you missing me? You dog my name out. You disrespecting me, homie. You shouldn't miss me, right? But you miss me. Yeah, now you want to kiss me. Now you want to kiss my ass. You ain't got to kiss my ass. Like I said, I forgave you. I exposed you and your baby mama and your bloodline for who y'all really are. Be happy. Now you can live your life. Your family can live their life. Take pictures in the mirror. Do what you do, but the baby moms is still stalking and watching. I don't get it. Keep watching, baby mamas and baby daddies. I'm going to keep bringing up my past to let you know. I didn't chase him down. Y'all chased him down. Y'all blowed up his phone. That's why he kept coming back to y'all. Boom, boom, boom. How y'all night going? Who turning up? Who crying? Who popping pills? I need to know. Since y'all wanted to know about me and him, I don't chase niggas. The niggas chase me, and I don't want them to. Respectfully, I want a man that's going to want me for who I am. Not for my body, not for my clothes, not for my money, not for when I get my hair did. I want a nigga that's going to talk to me with my hair natural, my afro. Yeah, I got an afro, shoulder. I can go natural outside with a pretty ass outfit on. I can go natural with a rag on. I can be myself. I go to the store natural. I'm me. I love myself. My truth is out. I expose myself. I love myself no matter what. I love to dress up. I love taking pictures. I hang out with family members when I want to. I love to hang out by myself. I love hanging out by myself. I can party by myself. I can turn up by myself. I can eat by myself. I can bathe by myself. I'm me. I love who I am. I love myself. I love my ancestors. I love the king of kings. Amen, amen. I'm going to keep loving myself because the enemy going to be watching me when I'm loving on myself. And while I'm everywhere, all over the world, how you doing? Hmm.